Hi all. Uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, using Google Cloud Platform for the image classification. So in the uh, previous video with respect to image classification, we had used a chess data set using Keras. Uh, we do uh, remember that uh, the performance of the model has not been that great. So today we are going to use uh, Google Cloud Platform who has their inbuilt product called Vision for image classification. So let's see how this particular out of the box product helps us in image classification. So uh, kindly create a Google Cloud account and once you log in, this is the landing page which uh, GCP calls it as the dashboard and uh, in the products and resources search for vision and uh, go for the product vision. So what happens once we open Vision is we do have uh, different uh, APIs uh, mentioned here like the Vision API or the Vision product search. They do also have something called the Auto AML, Auto ML Vision which we are going to use for classification of our chess uh, data set which we have. So as seen here the moment I press uh, the Auto ML Vision it asks, it's asked me to provide a data set for it to be uh, for the classification purpose. So uh, let me create a new data set and the moment uh, you create a new data set it will be asking for a name so let me just give it the input as chess data set and it will also ask the objective of the particular classification model we are going to work on whether it's a single label classification or an object detection or a multi-label classification so our problem here is a multi-label classification the moment I press create data set so what happens is it will go to this particular landing page of chess data set where it will request me to upload images from the computer. So uh, kindly make a note that for preparation of the data to be uploaded uh, we do have the input data set where we have different uh, folder structure for each of the images. For example the bishop folder will contain only the bishop images. So kindly make it as a zip folder which we are going to upload into the Google Cloud Platform. So what it will uh, request here is it will ask us to create a new bucket. So uh, in GCP they call it as the storage bucket. Uh, for example in AWS they are called it as the S3 buckets. So uh, select and cl click a new bucket. Give the name for the bucket which we are going to uh, create. And uh, the most important point which would like to, uh, which I'd like to mention here is, for the purpose of image classification, always set the region to US Central One. Uh, only if the location is set to US Central One, the image classification algorithm which uh, Go GCP uses works. And uh, so the default storage, you can set the rest of the options as default. So what happens is we are creating a new storage bucket on which we'll be uploading the files. So just select files and upload the zip folder inside which will take some time depending on the internet speed we have. So this is how we will be uploading the uh, data set we have. I would like to show the previous project where I worked on the same uh, exact data set what happens after importing. So currently we uh, as I had mentioned here the moment we finish importing the data set here the next set, the images, what happens is from the zip folder, the corresponding folders are unzipped and automatically we do have the uh, uh, images corresponding to each of the uh, folders for the chess images we have. So in the sense our data set is ready which is labeled and we can also look at the filters. I mean if I am selecting bishop, I will get, I'll be getting only the bishop images etc. So our data set is ready for classification and the moment I go for train, what happens is it gives me the option of uh, train a new model here and uh, once we select train new model, what happens is already in the pre-configured uh, settings in the GCP in the back end, uh, the training of the model starts for the classification purpose and it provides us the precision and recall. Uh, once the model has completed training. So uh, just to make a note here, uh, the training does take, does take some amount of time. Uh, for 550 images, it, took, it takes around one and a half hour for training. 
so as and uh, the best part is uh, we can leave it uh, uh, while the training is going on and once the training is complete we'll be receiving a mail notification that the training has been completed so as seen here the precision and recall when we when compared to our earlier performance using keras where we had close to 30 percent as you can see now it's the precision is 100 percent and the recall is close to 94.4 percent if you would like to look at the uh, full evaluation as seen here we do have the uh, total uh, size split as uh, 90 and 10 where we have the 496 images for uh, training and it's tested on 54 images and the precision recall curve which we are looking at here and also the confusion matrix which shows that uh, few of the uh, classes which are misclassified for example queen and uh, king uh, queen has been misclassified as uh, king at times uh, and we look at the metrics as I had mentioned we have absolutely uh, stunning uh, to say the least with respect to the classification algorithm which we have done using GCP vision uh, GCP vision product so and uh, the best part uh, beyond this is for deploying it further GCP has inbuilt one where we can deploy the model straight and uh, which can be used for testing the upcoming new images which are coming in so as seen here it's a simple uh, drag and drop tool which we can use for image classification instead of building our own network or doing a tuning of the uh, network parameters to improve the efficiency or the accuracy of the model which we are building on so GCP provides us this particular uh, product called vision for using for image uh, classification which we had done for our chess data set Thank you.